Hello my brothers and sisters. Psalm 50, attributed to the biblical writer Asaph, emerges as a hymn of profound spiritual and moral relevance, inviting us to an intimate and transformative reflection on our relationship with God and our role in the pursuit of justice and righteousness. This psalm, inserted in the Book of Psalms, is characterized by its message of divine accountability in exhortations to true worship, outlining the contrast between a merely ritualistic cult and a sincere surrender of the heart. Psalm 50 begins by describing the grandeur of God, the summoner of the entire earth from the first rays of the sun until its sunset. The poetic language used, using sunrise and sunset as metaphors, evokes the idea of a celestial audience where God reveals himself as judge. From the loftiest point of Zion he issues his message of righteousness and judgment. This majestic beginning sets the atmosphere for the subsequent message. The core of Psalm 50 lies in the criticism of a purely formal and ritualistic cult. God expresses his dissatisfaction with the mere offering of sacrifices and burnt offerings, reminding the people that all animals and the earth belong to him. Emphasis is placed on the importance of heart attitude and sincere dedication to God. Amidst the summons of heaven and earth to witness his judgment, the psalmist calls for a congregation of the faithful who have made a covenant with God not only through offerings, but through a life dedicated to justice and love for others. The message of Psalm 50 is a call to self-reflection and repentance. God speaks directly to the people, rebuking hypocrisy and unjust practices. He denounces the iniquity of external sacrifices that do not reflect an internal change of heart. The divine exhortation echoes to this day, inviting each of us to evaluate our intentions and actions, seeking genuine adoration that transcends mere formal gestures. Just as Psalm 50 challenges us to deep introspection and inner transformation, so I would like to invite you to engage with the meaningful content on our channel. If you have found inspiration in the message of this psalm and want to explore more spiritual insights and reflections, I urge you to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our publications. Additionally, if the content resonates with you, we would greatly appreciate it if you left a like as a gesture of support. Together, we can seek a deeper understanding of the spiritual meaning and practical application of ancient messages such as Psalm 50. Now let's pray Psalm 50, and then Our Father. A Psalm of Azaph The God of Gods, the Lord, spoke and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shone. Our God will come and will not remain silent, before him a fire will devour, and there will be a great storm around him. He will summon the heavens above and the earth to judge his people. Gather me my saints, those who made a pact with me with sacrifices. And the heavens will declare his righteousness, for God is the judge. Saddle. Hear, my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will protest against you, God am I, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices, for your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not take a calf out of your house, nor goats out of your pens. For every animal in the jungle is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and all the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you, because the world and its fullness are mine. Will I eat bull meat? Or will I drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of praise, and pay your vows to the Most High. And call on me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you will glorify me. But to the wicked God says, 
What do you do in reciting my statutes, and in taking my covenant in your mouth? Because you hate correction, and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you consented to him, and you had your share with adulterers. You loosed your mouth for evil, and your tongue composed deception. You sat and spoke against your brother, you slaughtered your mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent, you thought he was just like you, but I will reprove you and set them in order before your eyes. Consider this, for you forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be no one to deliver you. He who offers the sacrifice of praise will glorify me, and to him who orders his way well I will show the salvation of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God.